the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things He's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. Well, you know, don't get me wrong. I, I, everything you said is 100% true. Uh, it's, it's accurate. It's Bible. You can't disagree with that. But but I'm still back at 43 because it wasn't talking about the heart. It wasn't talking about the repentance. It wasn't mentioned to that. It was talking about you observing these acts. In other words, again, back to the fruits. We were observing the acts, the things that this person is doing. And that's all we know. We don't see his heart. We don't know whether he's repentant or not. We see what he's doing. We know the lifestyle. We know what they're saying. And we can look at that. And it's corrupt. Right. So then, mm -hmm. and then if we can judge a tree by the fruit that it bears, then right. our judgment, uh, wow, we can only judge one way based on that. But 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 that judgment could be an error. Basically, right. what I'm what I'm, I'm what I'm gathering from this because because you said there's none good. So then. At certain points, I could observe anybody's fruit and say, oh, that's a corrupt tree. Yeah. Right. But that, that doesn't mean that you can lay. I guess the point is, and I think that's very critical, is for anybody listening, is that just don't, 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 don't peg me as eternally corrupt because you see me that moment doing corrupt things. That just means that I need some cleaning up to do. And I think I love Brother Addison's past, present, future blood of Jesus, of sin. And, and the fact is that anytime we do wrong, that's why those provisions of forgiveness comes in is, hey, Lord, 400, how many times a day are you supposed to forgive somebody, Brother Bell? I think it's 490 times. God made provision for that. God made provision before him they used blood of animals, right? They had to put blood out. They had to sacrifice for man. Yeah. I mean, why, why, why even need to do a, uh, a blood sacrifice? Why would you need Jesus? God made provision because of that's who we are. Yeah, and I'm just saying is that just when you judge somebody, I, you know, don't don't peg them as being that all the time. But it does say yes. Uh, if a good tree brings not forth corrupt fruit, yes, that's the bottom line. Neither does a corrupt tree bring it forth good fruit, and and that's true. But the thing is, wow. I am not good one hundred percent of the time, but I'm trying, and I think God I, 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 is trying to do good. I understand all of that. Uh, that's uh, but that's not what the thing is. Right, but you can't. Yeah, I, I think I think what bad is that you can't. You remember the Bible said that the letter of the law killeth, but the spirit giveth life. If we ever yeah, put it in a heart, heart, if we put in a heart, if we take any scripture and just put it in a rock solid heart, no way, no way, no any way how, then we don't get the spirit of it, the intent of it. The intent is that I'm not. I'm not. Etched in stone to be a bad person if I put out bad fruit. Well, you know, I hear what you're saying, and I agree with you. You're you're right. It's it's the letter, the letter kidding, but the spirit give it life, and and you can't be so 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 biblical that you that you judge about that. But I mean, but we still need to be able to look at a, a passage of scriptures in its context and be able to bring bring light out of it to give us an understanding because he was trying to make a point. Right. With that, because let me tell you something though, because in the same definition and everything that has been said in this group today, I, I, I can I can vaguely remember people saying, I'm praying for his salvation, he ain't saved, and, and, and I pray he gets saved. And it was all based on characteristics of fruit that we were judging by the tree. But right. now I'm hearing, well, don't do that because we don't know his heart about repentance or whatever, whatever. So so even even in this and even in this setting, we've done exactly what we're saying don't do. You know what I'm saying? Based on what these scriptures are saying. So it's kind of, I mean, so I'm not getting an understanding. I hope I never did that, Jimmy. When, when you, when I, you look at it, I hope uh, I never did that. There's, there's a place in it where the Lord 
we, we talked about if your brother's caught in a fault, there is sore split your one in, in the spirit of meekness. Spirit of meekness, exactly. Je Jesus also said that, you know, except you abide in me, you can produce nothing when it, when it comes to terms of good food, I think. Come on, brother. But the one thing, the element that we kind of sidestep and what becomes a, a real factor at some point is that those he loves, he chasing. Yes. Come and on. We, and we practice sin. I mean, we're all going to probably slip every now and then. Right. Then it was said, if you do slip, then you have an advocate with the Father, this man, Jesus Christ, who sits at the right hand of the Father, continually making intercession on our behalf. Right. So, yeah, we're going we're gonna to trip every now and then and do that which is not in accordance with the will of God. That's, right. uh, that's a given. That's why when it happens, we repent, and he reassures us that we have established relationship with the Father. So that's what 43 is telling us? I, I think well, that that, that's 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 that is... Uh, I think what 43 is basically telling us is that you are, your fruit is good because it's, it's Christ's blood that's been shed for you. In Christ, we are received. We are accepted in Christ. Outside of Christ, we're all evil men. We so it's have, like yeah. we have access to repentance through the blood right. of the Lord Jesus Christ. And that, right. That, that relationship is, is maintained because of our relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. We in the family. We out. We we will get kicked out as a son because we do something wrong. We will be chastened as sons if we continue in error, and that's yeah. that's also a given to us as well. So there's an incentive package available to us from one end or another. You either don't want to piss God off, I mean, you want to please the Father, or you don't want to get a beating. But there's a surety of, of of both. He said, "Those he loves, he chastens." So we all have things that we struggle with, right? Right, right. Well, help me with one thing. Can I help me with one thing? I just want to ask one question. So I understand that. So then just help me with this part. And I think it said, I'm not looking at the scriptures now. We probably should have had the scriptures up. We're talking about scriptures that we're not even looking at. But I think it said, this is the part what gets me then. You shall know them by, by their fruit. fruit. Right. So, right. so, so, base, so if I'm going, this is how I'm supposed to know them. Come on now. Right. Now, this is how I'm supposed to know them. Yes, then, yes, then, how could I know them if I see them at the, if I see their fruit at the wrong time? Then when I think I know them, I don't know them. You don't. Well, you don't, you, you don't know them unless God reveals them to you anyway. And, and, you don't and, know the heart of a man. Only God knows the heart of a man. Exactly. Uh, and also, so, you, the man but, is not but, locked in. But I'm, we're not talking about heart. We're not talking about God revelation. We're talking okay. about fruit. Let's say with the context of the uh, of that. Of okay, that you're, you're correct. So can I can I can I add this? Then can we go look at uh, John 15 yes, real quick? Uh huh. One second. I'll keep it up. John because when it, when when you when it all boils down to it, we aren't the tree anyway. He is exactly. We're That's grafted what... into the tree. Exactly. I think that's the key to it. Go ahead, bro. So we're, we're grafted into the tree, so it says, I am the true vine. Yes, sir. And my father is the husbandman. That's why Every branch in me that uh -huh. beareth not fruit, yes, he sir. taketh away. And every branch that beareth fruit, he purgeth it. Right. That it may bring forth more fruit. Yes, sir. So, so in, in that, you know, we we're engrafted in to the tree. Right. And until that life source moves into those areas of our lives that are visible to the people of this world, it's not going to produce anything other than bramble and, and, and thorns and thistles. Right. So in that part, it, it's being... It's being pruned, I right. guess, by God. So until until the the life source which we're engrafted in, which is by us renewing our mind, then the good fruit starts to to flourish. And I understand what so, you're me, I guess, in, so so in those mm -hmm. areas of your life that you're you're not bringing forth good fruit, then those areas need work. Exactly. And you'll so, know so, you'll know yeah. the tree by the fruit. So you can okay, have so basically. 
I, so I've basically, seen, then we should be we should be very leery. We should be very leery of our judgment of others because all, if we all say the this time. Book, all, always, always, because we say if we say this book is a mirror. Last time I checked, when I look in the mirror, I don't see the pattern. I don't. I don't see you. I don't see somebody else. Yeah. I, I, when I look in the mirror, I see me. Right. And 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 to be honest, Jimmy, you see, <laughs> you see the house you're living in. That's you what you see. see. <laughs> <laughs> and in, in the house you're living in, there's no, there's no uh, what, no good thing, right? In that yeah. house. Uh, and, and Bishop, Bishop is here. Bishop, Bishop, okay. Bishop, I'm gonna bring you into what we just started talking about. They, we uh, welcome anyway. This, this is the uh, scripture we talking about, Bishop. That uh, Brother Bear had a good question on. I think it's worth discussing on. You know, verse chapter six, Luke chapter six, verse forty three. And the question he was saying, I guess they were discussing. We're discussing this. For a good tree bringeth not forth corrupt fruit, neither does a corrupt, corrupt tree bringeth forth good fruit. So what the discussion is, if I'm bringing forth corrupt fruit, then should I be known as a corrupt tree? And 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 i my conversation was I, I used a scripture where we talked about last week where Jesus said, why callest thou me good? There's no good except for God. And, and I also want to be able to say that just, a tree is known by its fruit. That's what you judge the fruit by. But it doesn't, I, I just all want to caution is, Brother Bell, that does not mean that you're always going to be labeled or be labeled bad because you bear bad fruit. It does mean that your actions is what I'm looking at. And if those actions are not bearing good fruit, I can at least judge and say that's not good fruit. You know, like somebody slapping a woman under the refrigerator. At that time, the judgment is not so much as the man eternally determined to be bad, but it does mean that that action you just did does not bring good fruit. In the last piece, I said I let Bishop come in because we talked about it last week, Bishop. Only God can bring forth, and I think Brother ben, Addison was trying to say, the good comes from God, not us. So, so, so Bishop, that's what we were talking about. Is we, we own that 43, 643. Okay. Uh... So what did you guys think? Well, they, they're saying how do you, how do you get how do you square with that? Uh, I think Brother Bell's asked a question. Then, then am I a, a good tree or a corrupt tree? If you're bringing forth corrupt fruit, because you bring if you bring forth corrupt fruit, he said, "This shall be known as a bad tree because I bring forth corrupt fruit." Well, how do you know unsaved people are unsaved? Go ahead. So, talk a little louder than I can't hear you. <laughs> How's that? How, how do you know that unsaved people are unsaved? Okay, how somebody you, go answer how, that. How do you know that you are saved? Come on now. Hey, I, I want to answer, but I want to Jimmy, Addison, go ahead. I got my answer, but go ahead. <laughs> well, he, if you got an answer, he was talking to you. <laughs> But, that's but, fine. but I know I, I'm saved. I, 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 I know, know I'm, I'm saved because I believe the word of God. I believe I that Jesus Christ is, is my Lord and Savior. I believe Lord that. Right. In I other believe words, it and I confess it. it with my right. mouth. Believe it in my heart. Confess right. it with my mouth. Come on, yeah. bro. Well, I would say that that's, that's the, my fruit. The reason Jesus is saying that is because of that very thing. That faith without works is dead. Yes, sir. You see, not only not only does bearing fruit indicate your connection with God, but it is also the meaningful by God image and transform you. 
So if you ain't bearing no fruit and calling yourself, a, if you bear corrupt fruit and calling yourself a good tree, you deceiving yourself. Uh -huh. The whole purpose of him making this statement is so that you can have a surefire guaranteed way of knowing when his process for the kingdom is being played out in your life. Listen, what if, what in you will cause you to bear bad fruit? If you in here, I, I think so, I think sometimes uh, situations, uh, spur of the moment of things that happen, you get caught up in something. You kind of you know staying away from things that you need to be kind of grounded in for for uh, elongated or a periodic time. And you get caught in a situation and you blow up or whatever. I mean, if I just were to not know a person, but I, I walked up on that. And I think that all of us, in my opinion, kind of bear some bad fruit at times. And so I could easily mistake a person because this day and now I'm going to take the fruit and I'm going to make a determination on the tree. So um, then I may be wrong in that. Huh? He said that. I didn't say that. He, he did that. say that. He did yeah. say that. And that's but what you we know what? Say. What is he saying? Is that exactly what he's saying? But he still he still blessed and cursed Peter in 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 within moments. Yeah, but listen, listen. All, all, all I'm saying to you is this: it, it, to me, it's very straightforward. There's no complexity about well, it. I, I take that back. Curse. He didn't curse him. No, I'm sorry. No. Now, now, if you're talking about somebody, if I understood the question correctly now, okay. you have developed a reputation for bearing bad fruit. Okay, so it's different. We, we, we're talking now lifestyle. We're not talking about... Uh, okay, so you're talking about a lifestyle or... of bearing bad fruit. Okay. That, that's, that, there ain't no question about that. Now, you're talking uh, okay. about somebody who, 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 who messed up like David did, but the scripture comes back and confirm that that was the only time that David messed up in his whole life. So then we need to we need to we need to in the, to get this particular passage and the following one in context. We have to understand this is more of a of a conversation about lifestyle. Okay, we talk about lifestyle. That's good. Okay. Uh, okay. He was, he was that, 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 that makes sense. Now that the makes sense. Obtained a good report. You look at Hebrews eleven one. It said, through faith, they obtained a good report. Right. It said they obtained perfection. A perfect report. <laughs> it is, it is say. Hebrew <laughs> uh, 11, right? Yeah. Verse, verse, I think it's verse 2. Yeah, right too. Verse 2. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> now, okay, now that was the reason we had the discussion on Romans chapter seven. Yeah. See, Romans chapter seven, I think Paul is trying to describe to you that all of us as believers are going to pass through a phase. Right. We're going to pass through this station in, in, in discipleship, this station where you're called a believer. Yeah. God comes into your life, brings about a transformation, you begin your journey. And on the process of starting this journey, you find out that things don't work the way you think they work. Yes. And you get caught up in this in, in this, this this place where you have a desire to do good, uh -huh. but because of your ignorance, you don't really know what you're wrestling against. Come on now. I like and you that. don't understand what God is really calling for in you that you might be able to consistently and continually <laughs> have good fruit. Would you and so he says, look, look now. You're going to have some problem because yes, you're still in the body of flesh. Come on. Come but on. you got to understand and know that in Christ, it distinguishes you from being in Adam. Yes. This is the problem I find that we got with most folks. Most folks think that, that when you get saved, because you blow it, that, yeah, that thing disqualifies you. Yeah. And what Paul is trying to tell you is, no, this is a matter of learning about how to yield not your mind and then how you think about where you are not in Christ. 
if you think about it wrong, you'll get wrong results. Yeah. Because, you know, I would think about this thing, Dequeen, you do realize that temptation is the front, it, it is the place where warfare takes place. Mm. If, listen, in temptation is the place where sin is born. <coughs> so I went back through that verse and I looked at all the components. I looked at the framework of temptation. I think it's important enough for us to learn the framework of temptation. But if you understand the framework of temptation, then he says, the, the, the answer to the thing he said then, oh, wretched man, who shall deliver me from the body of this death? He did. He described you the, the, the circumstances for which he's crying out. Mm. I want to do good, yes, but I end up doing the evil that I don't want to do. Come on. And I find that he says, I see two laws. I see one working in the, in my memory, warring against the laws of my mind. Yes. And he, but he, but he does not leave you there. That's Come the on. Other mistake he made. He don't leave you there. He says, he says, how shall how shall I how shall God get me out of this situation? Not how can I get out of this situation? Come on. He said, I thank God through Jesus Christ. So then with the mind, I saw the law of God. Come on. With the flesh, the law of sin. Yes. Now, Ephesians goes on to tell you that God has predestined you. Yes. To good works. That's, that's 12 too, right? I think it's 12 too. Romans 12. Uh, that's uh, us two. Is it? Two ten or two eleven? Ephesians two ten or two eleven? Oh, Ephesians two ten or two eleven. Okay. You know what I did get? Yeah. You see, that verse says that we are his workmanship. We're created in Christ Jesus. Yes. Unto good work, which God has before ordained. Woo. Wow. We should walk in there. Now, here's, 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 for me, here's, here's, the, here's, the most, here's the most sad part about having a reputation of being bad fruit. Yeah. It 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 destroys your opportunity to witness to people. That's true. Uh, the first thing they're gonna say to you, I know that Negro ain't trying to tell me <laughs> that. I know, that's the first thing they will want me. <laughs> I know that whole hopping, stealing crook Negro ain't trying to tell me how to walk right. Not and what I'm saying is you don't want to you don't want to give people that platform <laughs> But God tried to use you in many things that he was for the purpose of the kingdom. Come on. That is why he that is why he's hard on the disciples. That's why he's hard on believers about the way we live. Yeah. If a man, if you see a brother overtaken in a fault, ye with the spiritual restore him. Because his because his testimony is gonna do damage not just to his life but to your life. Oh, you want to increase the two inches? But your buddy Roscoe sleeping with Mary, we see him chip capping out there every other weekend. Yeah, yeah. And you ain't said nothing to him. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I think and I think you point, you're not judging him. You're just saying this. To me, I think to me, I think judge is, is 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 to make this eternal judgment. Where I'm saying is you can judge something just, just by that event, but not make a label of a person because they brought forth corrupt fruit. Well, I I, I think that what Jesus if you're is looking at it, I think if if you're looking at it from a personal assessment, you know how much you're really engaging in whatever that activity is. And yeah. I think the judgment yeah. comes in is that you're kind of doing a self assessment. If I see a person caught up in a fault, even if it's a continuous one, according to the scripture, I'm admonished to or instructed to restore such a one in the spirit of meekness. Yes, sir. And so our response to that, if we if we catch it, if we see a person doing that, is the same. I mean, it, it, 
we are to restore the in spirit of meekness. If I judge myself in accordance with that action, now I got to go to God and get some help because I mean, I'm caught up. I'm in, I'm in bondage now, Lord, and I need you to, to, to free me from this. And, and what I saw in the one scripture where they talked about that all the good that you do, that's if you're judged in a, a, at the end and you find yourself caught up in something that's not in accordance with the will of God, you're going to hell. Yeah. And, and all the evil you've done prior to that, if you find yourself right with God at the time you leave the planet, then you're going to make it in. But there is a, um, I think as far as this thing is concerned, the, the true, I think, it, it issue becomes how am I seeing myself in it? Right. You know, yeah, your mic got a little bit better. Yes, sir. I agree. Your mic needs help. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Well, um, it's it's just bad. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's gobbling a little bit, but that's, no. I, I, heard, I think I heard what you were saying. <laughs> I I just want, but, but, I, mean, I, I, I just need some clarification. I need some clarification. You're saying that if if you're you're bearing good fruit and then you get to the end of your life, and you sin, you're not getting into heaven. Is that what you said? Oh yeah, wait, what you said? I didn't say that. The word said that. I, I, where? He he was talking about the in the old testament, not not in the new testament. In the old testament, you remember that one scripture you read you read it before. I can't I think it's somewhere in Ezekiel, I can't find it right now. Was uh if if a if a person's righteousness if a person does righteous and turns from or and, and then turns away from their from being righteous and 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 die in that righteousness, none of the good of good things he did will will count. And the same thing for a person who's always been bad, but they turn from their ways, then they, 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 none of their unrighteousness will keep them from being in right standing with God. That was in, I think it's in Ezekiel, some, somewhere in there. I could show it to you later. Yeah, it's, it's Ezekiel chapter 3 and I think 33, two, two times. Yeah, yeah that's what I thought it was like 33 or something like that. But that, that was the one of Brother Addison was talking about that is, is that the children of Israel was struggling with that issue. And they were saying his ways was not equal. <laughs> well, and, and rightfully so, they should have struggled with it because... Prior to, prior to the grace of God through Christ, when grace came, that took care of all that. You well, know, because... Well, no, grace doesn't take care of all that. Well, <laughs> well, what I'm saying is Christ, Christ came. When I say grace came, Christ well, came. Well, Christ doesn't take care of that either, though. So you're saying, okay, well, you, you guys need to... To well, explain read, to me, read, 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 brother Addison, read this one for us. Then it's in Ezekiel thirty-three ten to twenty. This is what they responded. But you go ahead and see how God weighs. This is the Old Testament. Go okay, but I'm talking that. about the New Testament now. Now, well, I mean, he was referring to brother brother Elder was talking about the Old Testament, and and I'm just saying is okay. look at this. I, I, mean, I understand. I understand how. Okay, I'll read it. I'll read yeah, it. Go ahead. Therefore, O thou son of man, speak unto the house of Israel. Thus ye speak, saying, If our transgressions and our sins be upon us, and we pine away in them, how shall we then live? Say unto them, As I live, saith the Lord God, I have no pleasure in the death of the wicked, but that the Amen. wicked turn from his way and live. Turn ye, turn ye from your evil ways. For why will ye die, O house of Israel? Therefore, thou son of man, say unto the children of thy people, the righteousness of the righteous shall not deliver him in the days of his transgression. As for the wickedness of the wicked, he shall not fall thereby in the day that he turneth from his wickedness. Neither shall the righteous be able to live for his righteousness in the day that he sinneth. When I, and that, that answers, I mean, I, I guess that's what Elder was talking about. Yeah. Okay, so.